We're now going to segue from layer mask to copying channels in 3D Coat. Previously in another video I pointed out that sometimes before you create a layer mask you may want to create new layers and copy channels from your original layer into it in order to preserve that information such as your depth, your color, or your specularity. Because a layer mask currently, as of this recording, will mask out all three channels. So what do I mean by channels? I know that's a little bit confusing to anyone who's new to 3D Coat. So let me go to Photoshop and hopefully I can demonstrate this a bit better. In Photoshop you can take any given group of layers here. Um, control click and I'll just choose three. New group from layers. I'll just leave it at that. It creates essentially like a master layer and then it has three sub layers beneath it. And that's essentially what you have in 3D Coat. On any given layer you have three image maps assigned to it. A color, spec, and bumper or depth channel. So when you apply a mask to any layer in 3D Coat, essentially what you have is a group mask. So what this is going to do, if I hold the Alt key, I can isolate just this group. And so now, as I begin to paint on the mask, you can see it's not just affecting one layer, it's affecting all three. If I wanted to keep one of these sub layers or channels from being affected by this group layer mask, then I need to move it outside the group layer. In 3D Coat, there's really no way of doing that. You have to create a new layer. Okay, rename it. And then you copy one of these onto this layer. Let's go back to 3D Coat. And we'll perform a similar process here. I'm going to first go to the texture editor and bring up the depth map or normal map and examine it as we're working. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Double click on it. Call it fuselage underscore depth. All right. So now I can go to the layers menu, copy channels. I can choose the source layer, and that would be the fuselage layer. I want to copy the depth information from it. And the destination layer will be the fuselage depth. And I'll leave the depth channel here. Hit OK. And so if I hide the fuselage layer, and now hide the fuselage depth, you can see that information was stored. Let's now try something a little different. Let's create a new layer. The name glow underscore depth. And so what I'm going to do, go back to the layer menu, copy channels, this time glow 01, and I'm going to choose luminosity. I'm going to basically extract the luminosity from this original layer and put it on the glow depth layer. And I want to place it in the depth channel. I might choose add and hit OK. And now you can see that different information here on the normal map. It instantly applied it. Okay. So with that done, I want to hit my wireframe. So I just wanted to point out, you don't have to be worried about this jaggedness, whatever. It's all outside of the actual UV map. I'll turn wireframe back off. And what I can do is either change the depth value here or I could do it in the blending mode. I'm going to give it a value of negative 3. Hit OK. Because I want it to indent. And so you can see that adds a little more pop uh, to this whole glow effect here. It makes it look indented in, inside the fuselage itself. Okay, so I hope that helps. 
and stay tuned for other videos.